show was over 146,000 pre-orders. Now, all you're doing is reserving your copy now because these are going to ship out to you on November 27th. Correct. And you are still getting two easy pays. I don't know how much longer that's going to be in effect, but you can uh, choose two easy pays of less than $10 for each book. 110 recipes, each with a full color photo, a forward by David's good pal Valerie Bertinelli. Mm -hmm. You also have uh, like 95% of the recipes are going to give you a supermarket um, a shortcut. Shortcut. You're also getting, by your request, larger print and darker print. Yep. So David, listen to all of check. your your feedback, <laughs> and it's a fantastic book. With these recipes, all have 10 ingredients or less. They're exactly. so easy. Exactly. Well, you know, in all this time that I've been doing uh, in the kitchen with David on mm -hmm. QVC, I've come to realize that we're all looking to put great food on the table, but we want to do it in record time without sacrificing any of the quality and the taste of the food. So I'm going to give you permission to take some shortcuts. I'm okay. going to give you simpler and easier recipes, and you're still going to put great food on the table, but you're going to do it in record time. And I really am so proud. I think of all the books I've written, yeah. this is the best because it really addresses busy home cooks where they live. Right, and the recipes are delicious. Uh, this is my third adventure taste testing with David, and he always brings out new things, and I can't wait to try them. But every single thing I've tried makes your eyeballs roll back in your head and do a happy <laughs> dance. I mean, and they're all so easy. So so come on in and get another. I know a lot of you have already bought one for yourself. Come on in and get gifts. These are going to arrive just in time for holiday giving. And even if you have a brand new foodie on your list, these are so easy that anybody can do them. Well, let's start with breakfast. Okay. Because this is a recipe you've not seen before, Carolyn. Oh, and good. this is my waffle bread pudding okay. with a mixed berry topping. Ooh. But these waffles, here's your shortcut. They're okay. frozen. Oh, I like it. You make a wonderful simple custard. Okay. And then we top it with these frozen waffles. Oh boy. And they get nice and brown in the oven, but they <coughs> soak up all that lovely custard. And then look here, my darling. Okay. We're going to berries. top it with berries, but I toss the berries in maple syrup. Oh, look at you. So there you've got mixed berries, maple syrup, uh, frozen waffles, mm. and a breakfast bread pudding. I'm gonna have me a big old raspberry. Ready? What do you think about that? Mm. Oh man! Isn't that nice? And simple, again. simple. Mm. That custard is delicious. And it's so nice. It's oh my so gosh, easy. You guys, and this so is good. ten ingredients mm. or less. And there's mm. a gorgeous color photo with every single recipe in the That's book. That's good, honey. We've mm. got some great things happening now. Yummy. Talk about this for appetizers. Okay. How about one skillet nachos? Oh, how about I just eat one? Well, well, let me top, first top it with a little <laughs> bit of this. Okay. The sour cream crema with some uh, mm. with some lime juice. Oh, David. These now, are just delightful. And you dirty mm. one skillet to make these nachos. Oh, so good. And the cheese in this mm. is pepper jack. Now, if you mm. don't love pepper jack, substitute whatever. Cheese you like, whether mm. it's uh, maybe a, a smoky uh, cheddar mm. or whatever you like, right? Oh my gosh! I know the you. The train's getting you, ready to leave you the got station. One, you got one worked up. Mm, that that's delicious, and you know football games on the horizon, all those fun fall gatherings, perfect. Now, one thing that we love about this book is there's a whole chapter on air frying. So okay. there are ten recipes in the book that are air fryers. This is my banana spring roll mm. with a chocolate peanut butter sauce. Oh! So let's first mm, hit honey. this with a little powdered sugar. Okay. These cook in your air fryer in about 10 to 12 minutes. Mm. And then this chocolate peanut butter sauce comes in a bottle you buy at the grocery store. I almost fainted when I tasted this last time. And you know what? This was huge. I got huge reaction on this on <laughs> Facebook. Everybody was so excited about these. Okay. Banana spring rolls with a chocolate peanut butter sauce in the air fryer. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, what do you think? Okay, hit it. You ready? Ready. Ready? Go. You go that way. I'll go this way. Happy <laughs> dance. Get it. Get the happy dance up in it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, David, that's now, delicious. One thing that we love Can for I dinner just say time. Elvis would have been proud. Elvis would love that. <laughs> you know, one of the things we love about dinner time is being able to get hearty food on the table, but with some great shortcuts. Now, this is my chicken pot pie, but okay. there are a lot of shortcuts in here. Condensed cream of chicken soup helps mm -hmm. to bind it up. Yeah. Frozen vegetables make mm, it faster. Perfect. Rotisserie chicken, so I'm not having to cook chicken. And that's the best chicken anyway. And here's the secret to this: you warm the sauce or the filling. Before you top it with the raw biscuits, mm -hmm. and then you bake it because if the filling's already warm, the ba the biscuits bake up, and you take it out of the oven in record time. Are those your wampum biscuits? Those are wampum biscuits. Those, those are refrigerator biscuits. Mm, so it's so it. so easy. Oh, honey, that looks delicious. We're excited about this book because there's so many great chapters. There. There's a whole seafood chapter. Mm -hmm. These are pan-seared scallops. Yeah. In a lemon butter sauce. Oh, yummy! I believe Do you I have, have some, some right here? behind you. Ooh, I'm gonna try Do you those. know that these cook in four minutes? Mm, you're kidding four me. Four minutes. I love scallops. Mm. What do you think of that with oh, the lemon butter tasty. sauce? And you know what? 
they're so light that lemon really gives them like that non-fishy taste. Exactly. You mm. know me, I'm not anybody delicious. that likes a very fishy seafood dish. Mm. And if I can take all the fishiness out of it, I'm gonna. That's so delicious, this is David. what it's all about. I want to take you down here and show you a dessert okay. you've not seen before. Oh, good. Very end of the table, right okay. here. Mm. Now, Oh man, I think everybody loves peanut brittle, but you would think I'd never make it at home. It's way it too difficult. It sounds way too right? hard. I know. This is six ingredients. Okay. And it cooks in seven minutes. Wait, in the microwave. Oh my gosh. Okay. Microwave. This is for my daddy who loves peanut brittle, and I send it to him every Christmas, and now I can make my own. You can make it and send it mm. to him in the mm. mail. What do you think about that? Oh, that's delicious. Tender, nice, easy. Oh, you guys, that's so good. It's better than anything from a candy store. Oh. And. Six ingredients, mm. seven minutes in the microwave. It's buttery. You can taste the peanuts. It's just the right crunch. Well, while we're talking mm, about good. sweets, how about mm. this? This is my bread and chocolate. Mm. Mm. So you take a challah loaf, okay. cut it through, but not all the way. Uh -huh. Then I give you a recipe for a, a filling of cream cheese, butter, vanilla, and sugar. Ooh, boy, that sounds and delicious. And then I nestle a slab of dark chocolate in between oh, each slice. I like how you used a slab. And then bake it. <laughs> and it's absolutely Unbelievably mm, divine. That looks that it looks pretty. Now you know me. I'm the kid who never grew up and loved mac and cheese. So if I thought, what what can I do to mac and cheese to make it even more exciting? Okay. How about mac and cheese soup? Oh, guess what? A lot of people are buying more than one book. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, mac and cheese soup. Mac and what? cheese soup. I and love this it. is really exciting because you take your pasta, you cook it off, you pop it in here mm -hmm. with a couple of cans of condensed cheddar cheese soup. Yeah. But then you add chicken broth, diced tomatoes, cooked ham, mm -hmm. and you come away with this mm. lovely half that homemade, really half prepackaged soup that Comfort is delightful York. and delicious for everybody in the family. Mm. That's mm. mac and cheese mm. soup with ham. Oh, that broth is the cheesiest. Isn't it? And you it get that nice like... chicken flavor in there oh, as well. Oh, yeah, and the tomatoes. Oh, David, I'm going to try that thing first. Isn't that fun? Now, did you make this in a big cast iron pot? You certainly we, so we made it in Le Creuset, which is really exciting. Mm. Speaking of pasta, let me show oh, you, you guys, this one. Oh, so good. Well, so I think mm. you're going to be excited about this one. Okay. This is in a pressure cooker. You're going to pressure cook some beef okay. and then shred it. Okay. Cook off some rigatoni, throw it in there with a jarred pesto sauce. Ooh, I like that idea. But wait, I'm not done. Okay. Once we do all of that, let's grab a little bit. Pardon my fingers. They're clean. I washed. That's I promise. okay, hon. A little fresh Parmesan cheese Ooh, on that yum. instead of a red sauce, a okay. pesto sauce. And I and I'm not a huge red sauce fan anyway. Hmm. Oh, I like that. Isn't that lovely? It's very light and a whole different flavor profile. And you taste the pesto, and it's not too much. Um, Sometimes a red sauce can be very acidic. Yes. So this is very Pesto light. Pesto is, is a little a little different in that regard. And because regard. you pressure cook that meat, it's perfect. So mm. I wanted to show you beef stew mm. with dumplings. Okay. Because this is so simple. You make a simple, easy beef stew. Then you take the what I call the wampum biscuits. Yeah. Cut, cut them into chunks. Okay. Rest them on top. They absorb mm. all that flavor of the gravy, and they get pillowy soft. Oh, that looks good. We're busy. How many are gone now, Frankie? Two thousand more ordered in this show. 148,000 plus now. Look altogether. at those gorgeous vegetables in there. Oh, All those pillowy good. dumplings. Yeah. This turns into a wintertime mm. rib sticking treat. These are all such great comfort foods. And they're for easy. They're easy, easy, and perfect. So, remember, guys, this is going to ship out to you. Oh, I can't talk and eat. I just got to eat okay, this. Okay, get yourself a little dumpling. Mm. And then mm. get in there and get a little bit of that mm. beef stew. Okay, honey. And the veggies. It's hot. Oh. Mm. Better? Mm -hmm. How about that? Mm. Easy mm. and quick, all 10 ingredients are oh, less. Oh, guys, that's delicious. And see these biscuits? They're perfect on the top. That's so good. And the longer you leave them mm. in that warm broth, yep. the more they'll cook up. They'll get nice and firm and be delightful. Quick reminder, shipping November 27th. Get as many ordered, pre-ordered as you want. We've got a pre-order price right now. We've still got two easy payments of under $10. This is 110 all new, no repeats, all new recipes. They've got supermarket shortcuts. You've got larger print. You've got darker print. Everything's 10 ingredients or less and comes with a full color photo. I don't know how you whittled it down to 110. That was the hard part. But delicious. you know what? We knew one that had to stay. Cookies what? and cream mm -hmm. dessert dip. Okay, then. Take mm -hmm. a look here. Your shortcut is using okay. pre-whipped cream cheese. You don't mm. wait for it to come to room temp. That looks delicious. And you uh, fold in the chocolate wafer cookies, not the ones that begin with an O and end with an O. These are actual chocolate wafers, and then you can taste this Kay. fantastic cookies and cream dip. I'm gonna eat some and of this. And then of course, this? this is butternut uh, squash Kay. cubed with mm. fresh sage, mm. and you crisp those up in the, on mm. the top of the stove. Oh my gosh, it's so good! Every single thing is a winner. Don't miss this cookbook. His other two have flown out of all the shelves. We want to make sure you get yours, and a lot of you are picking up more than one. It's a fantastic foodie gift. And 
David is so beloved and he's going to be very humble and say, ah, pshaw, all shucks. But we love David. He's got a huge following. Thank Everybody's you. ordering this book. And if you know somebody who watches him that doesn't know about the book, give it to him as a gift. They'll absolutely love it, honey. Well, I job. can't thank you enough for all your help. You're a sweetheart. Mwah. And thank all to all of you because I think you're going to love this book. And it cooks and eats the way you guys are cooking and eating. I think you're going to love it. You love David? You'll love David's food. And he's back tonight at 8. We'll see you Correct. then, honey bun. All okay, right. Thank, thank you. you so much for having me today. Stay in the ordering process process for David Venable's new cookbook, Comfort Food Shortcuts. Yummy! Now, Chef Joe, if I have food in my teeth and no lipstick on, that's David's fault. <laughs> I'll fix it later. Okay, so Chef Joe McAllister's here three times in my show, which I think yes, that's a first, yeah. and I'm so excited to have you here. It's wonderful to be here. Thank uh, you so much. Chef Joe's going to bring us some great Cook's Essentials things, and the first one we're going to talk about is this non-stick induction 